In the present state of the game, many are calling the Crusader's crossbow the only viable medic primary weapon. This is certainly true for the competitive scene where sticking to the current meta is vital and where you would be hard pressed to find someone deviating from the crossbow, and is also true to a degree in casual gameplay, where, whilst a range gun usage is more varied, the majority of players wanting to do their best use the crossbow over other syringe guns. Why is this though? What makes the Crusader's crossbow better than all the other medics' primaries? It's because the crossbow can do what no other syringe gun can do, something that is incredibly useful and potentially game-changing if used correctly. What I'm alluding to is, of course, healing from a distance. If there's a wounded teammate on the other side of a sniper sightline that you don't want to cross, then use the crossbow. If there's a burning teammate who will die before you get in range with your medigun, you use the crossbow. If there's a fight going on on the front lines where a teammate needs healing but you're busy further back, you use the crossbow. In all these scenarios, a medic not running the crossbow is going to be at a distinct disadvantage to one who is. Therefore, most medics would rather run the crossbow than run the risk of being at a disadvantage to the enemy team. Now, this mentality of being fundamentally worse off for using stock or an alternate primary means the crossbow sees a massive amount of usage from players, and this I do not like. In an ideal game, all the weapons would be viable, and there would not be a definitive choice. This is most certainly not the case for the medic. The long-range burst healing makes the crossbow outclass all the other medic primaries. Yes, it has the downside of not letting you defend yourself as well as, say, the Blitzsauger, but in a competitive setting, you should have your team there to defend you. Now, what can we do to fix this issue? Should we nerf the crossbow so hard into the ground that it becomes worse than useless, viable only as a new form of currency worth one-tenth of a scrap? Because it's so unused that even newly installed, Gibbous Vision battle medic players can tell that this weapon is bad. Uh, no. In fact, I don't think the Crusader's crossbow as a concept is overpowered, and it doesn't deserve to be nerfed. I think that the medic's ability to heal over a long range is great, and crossbow aim is one of the things a medic can work on to become a better player, and thus raises the skill ceiling for the game. What could be done instead of nerfing the crossbow is all other syringe guns could be buffed up to its level. But buff how? My answer is to give all syringe guns the ability to do long range healing. Before you decry this as being overpowered, let me first explain the way this long-range healing would work. All of Medic's syringe guns would now gain an alternate fire, which launches a healing bolt, rather than the syringe guns just healing with their primary fire if it hits a teammate. I think we can all agree that if the stock syringe gun could fire needles that each yield 75 health, which is the lowest the crossbow can do, at the same rate of fire it currently has, then that would be beyond broken. If the bolt misses and hits nothing, then no one will be healed and the ammo will have been wasted, and if the bolt hits an enemy, nothing will happen either. The enemy will not be healed or harmed by the team-coloured cocktail of drugs inside the healing vault. If you're worried about general balance, this idea comes with the fact that the healing vault would be a massive drain on the medic's primary reserve ammo, meaning if the player chooses to heal with a healing vault, they risk being completely defenceless later on if they don't restock their ammo. As well, the alternate fire would have a cooldown of 2 seconds, meaning the bolts cannot be spammed, leading to nigh unkillable teammates if the medic just sits near an infinite ammo source, such as a dispenser. Anyway, these are my thoughts on how something like this could be implemented to all the different weapons. All syringe guns would now have the ability of an alternate fire, which would go something like this. Alt fire. Fire a healing bolt which heals based on distance travelled and consumes X% percent primary reserve ammo. Where X% percent is, there would obviously be a value, but I'll get to that later on. Now the problem here is that we've simply slapped on a mechanic to a pre-existing set of weapons. This is similar to how the healing from extinguishing teammates was added to all flamethrowers. I personally feel this was a poor implementation of a new mechanic. In my opinion, if there had been different healing amounts for each of the flamethrowers, rather than a flat 20 health, perhaps if one of them gave a speed boost upon extinguishing an ally, this would have greatly diversified the pyro's arsenal and added a further range of choices. If all those new syringe guns acted exactly the same, I think that would take away from some of the fun and potential new decision making that would be brought into the game if these weren't just flat values. So now it's time for the new stats. Syringe Gun Level 1 Syringe Gun Alt fire. Fire a healing bolt which heals allies based on distance travelled and consumes 10% primary reserve ammo. Stock weapons are hard to balance because they should act as a baseline for all other weapons, but here are the stats I thought up. This would allow you to get up a maximum of 10 healing bolts, with each bolt costing you 15 reserve ammo per shot, before you need to get an ammo back, resupply, or sit near a dispenser. At point blank range, the healing would be quite low, at 60 health per bolt. For reference point, the Crusader's crossbow point blank healing is currently 75. This would mean you need to spend half of your available healing bolts to fully heal a heavy. Long range bolts, however, would heal more, with 100 health per bolt. For reference, the current Crusader's crossbow maximum heal is 150 from the farthest distance. 
interim ranges between these two extremes would obviously heal at a rate that gets higher the further away you are, up to the maximum of 100 health per bolt. The Blutsauger, level 5 syringe gun. On hit, gain up to 3 health. Minus 2 health drained per second on Moira. Alt fire, fire a healing bolt which heals allies based on distance travelled and consumes 10% primary reserve ammo. Minus 25% bolt healing penalty, plus 20% heal bolt fire rate. The Blutsauger is in my view the battle medic primary. These stats would allow the burgeoning battle medic to go about his misguided attempts to frag whilst also being able to heal his teammates in a quick manner so he can get back to fighting. With these stats, a point blank bolt would heal 45 health, and a long range bolt would heal 75 health. Healing bolts would also be fired at an accelerated rate of 1 bolt every 1.6 seconds, allowing the battle medic to heal their team with healing bolts much faster so that they can get back to not helping the team in any meaningful way. The Overdose, level 5 syringe gun. Minus 15% damage penalty. While active, movement speed increases based on overcharge percentage to a maximum of plus 20%. Alt fire, fire a healing bolt which heals allies based on overcharge amount and consumes 10% primary reserve ammo. Minus 25% bolt healing penalty. The overdose is in my opinion the primary for the medic who will wait for the perfect time to deploy their uber and not popping as soon as they reach full charge. They also like to keep the uber for as long as possible whilst using the speed boost to escape dangerous situations that might have resulted in their death. This mechanical change of the healing being based off uber charge and not distance makes us have a completely different playstyle to the rest of the syringe guns, where now gaining and conserving a charge is even more vital and is closely linked to the medic's healing abilities. This also makes it synergize well with the metaguns that build an uber-charge faster, such as the Kritzkrieg or Vaccinator, and would add validity to these combos. However, I think that the 100 health bolt at any range once you have full uber would be incredibly powerful, so a small nerf comes in here which would reduce the healing capabilities to something more reasonable. And finally, the Crusader's Crossbow, the weapon that started it all. The Crusader's Crossbow, level 15 crossbow, no headshots, minus 75% max primary ammo on wearer, Alt fire, fire a healing bolt which heals allies based on distance travelled and consumes 20% primary reserve ammo, minus 50% short range bolt healing, plus 50% long range bolt healing. These sets enforce the Crusader's crossbow as the long range healing primary, giving a bonus to long range shots and a penalty to close range ones. This makes it ideal for a medic who wishes to stay out of the direct fight but still contribute some solid healing to the team. These stats mean a point blank bolt will only heal the teammate 30 health, whereas a long range bolt will do a much more impressive 150 health compared to the other syringe guns. But beware, the increased ammo consumption on the healing bolts means you can only fire off 5 before you need to restock on ammo or go in and help with your medigun. This primary would therefore be very helpful to a medic who can aim their shots from a long range, as the burst healing on this is able to fully heal the heavy in 4 seconds, compared to the 12.5 seconds it takes to heal one with a normal medigun at a normal healing rate. But I'm not done there. The stat for the crossbow, no headshots, has always confused me because why would a medic primary be able to deal headshots in the first place? But it gave me an interesting idea for an alternate stat set for the crossbow and an alternate playstyle. The Crusader's crossbow, level 15 crossbow, minus 75% max primary ammo on wearer, alt fire, fire a healing bolt which heals allies based on body part hit and consumes 20% primary reserve ammo, plus 40 base bolt healing, plus 50% bolt healing on headshot, minus 50% bolt healing on leg or arm shot, minus 25% bolt healing on body shot. This stat set would make the Crusader's crossbow a much more aim-based weapon than the rest of the syringe guns. A base healing rate of 100 now means that the critical bolt steel heals 150 health, on par with the current stats. A body shot would heal 75 health, which is a nice amount, and a leg or arm shot would only heal 50 health for your target. Again, the number of healing shots is limited to 5, so the medic has a choice to get a slightly weaker, more consistent heal, or to try and get a cool 150 health by impaling a bolt into their teammate's skull. And there we have it. A fun little selection of my ideas of how to make all medic primaries viable and functional. I do have other ideas, such as the healing bolt, instead of consuming ammo, consumes uber charge, obviously at lower rates than 10 or 20%. This would add a dynamic of do I use some uber to heal that guy over there quickly, or do I go and heal him at a slower rate but conserving a couple of percent of my charge. But I feel this idea was a bit too harsh. Also, I had an idea whether healing bolt hitting an enemy would give them some kind of debuff, like reduced healing or being marked for death. However, the script for this video is already four pages along, and I don't want to bore you with a whole other stat set. And that's it. We're done. If you feel like these are awful ideas, and I should be deeply ashamed, then please say so in the comments. And if you have any other thoughts on my ideas, or have ideas of your own on how to make all weapons in the medic's primary arsenal more viable, then please comment those as well. 
I look forward to reading any responses that I get. Also, this is my first proper video, so any feedback on how well you thought this was presented would be appreciated. Anyway, this is the end of the video, so goodbye, I guess.